Hey, what is up, you guys? I have this 2016 M235 Vive, and I had it for a couple months. And compared to the Lexus, it's a different type of car. Like, it's it's more fun. It handles a lot better. Uh, but one thing that I don't like is that it doesn't have any um, temperature gauge readings. And um, this is kind of, of like an M light, so it's not really a, a performance car, but it is. Uh, it has some performance in it. This is a, a two series, and I understand that this is like the entry level one but still like i you know you would think that it would should at least come with a temperature gauge now there is some secret menu where you can go in there and it will display it or you can uh use uh beamer link and then you can see like the temperature gauges or whatnot but um i i don't know it's just a little annoying sometimes so what i have here is a cluster from an m2 um now this should be plug and play well, it's not plug and play. Uh, what you have to do is you have to get it virginized and then coated uh, for it to work with the car. So the cluster is virginized and it is coated with this car's VIN. So hopefully it's just as simple as removing these two uh, bolts right here. And then we're going to be able to pop it off and then hopefully it should work. All right. So I managed to get it out, as you guys can see there. Um, what I did was basically just push the steering wheel down and then you're going to wiggle it out either to the left or right side. I think it's easier if you just wiggle it out to the right side and it'll come right out. These are the two connections and um, these are keyed. So there's no way you can mess it up and uh, we'll see. Hopefully it'll work. All right, guys, I already turned it on. Um, so I know it works, but this is how it looks and it looks so nice um compared to the stock one like this looks super nice um yeah it doesn't look too good in person i mean in person it doesn't look the the great in camera but in person this looks super nice a very big upgrade um definitely do recommend the only thing is i am cycling through uh, some of the menus and unfortunately um the temperature gauge does not show so hopefully i'll be able to go through beamer link uh, I mean, Beamer link, uh, Beamer code and get that coded in. And um, yeah, I mean, everything seems to be working fine. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I was able to code it through Beamer code. And if we cycle through here, uh, we should get a temperature button popping up. Where is it at right here? So see, it might just take a minute. There we go. You just can see here, um, it's fully working. It's all functional. Um, I let the car sit for, for a little bit and the gauge did move. I know for like the other cluster, the, the previous one, um, you would, you would be able to get that temperature gauge on it to display, but for some reason it will not work. You would need like, uh, either, uh, the LCI cluster or one from like an M2, I believe. Um, and it will work like this one. Like I said, this one came out from the OG M2 and, uh, it works great. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely a worthwhile upgrade um, in total. It wasn't too much. Um, it was definitely about the same price as the P3 gauges that you're able to get over here. And for the price, I would much rather go with this one than the P3. Like all I really wanna know is if my car is overheating or if I'm okay to uh, floor the car. So this way like that, I could know and it'd be quicker than connecting to Beamer Link. Um, I mean, I'm still gonna be using Beamer Link, but overall, this is super nice to have. And then we get these LCI cluster with the little M badge up at the top, super cool. Um, they do have some where, like, where it says M2, those are the competition ones. So I'm not too sure if it'll work with the M235 Ives, but I know for a fact that this will work with the uh, uh, M240s, uh, one, uh, M140s, 135Is, and then 235Is. Um, the only thing, like I said earlier, is that you do have to get the cluster virginized and the uh, um, VIN coded to the actual cluster for it to work. Um, so yeah, um, I definitely, man, I'm in love with these clusters, super worth it. And, um, yeah, um, one thing to note, there are some things where you might have to code in, like I said, like this thing, super easy. I found another video on YouTube. I'll link it down in the description. And for now guys, uh, stay tuned to the next video and, um, yeah, hope you guys like, uh, the car, uh, cause I really do like it and, uh, let's see how well this thing treats me. Till next time, guys. Peace.